He's like, we're gonna make this as hard as we can for Gabriella. Thanks. That's what you get. This is your. Uh, this is your. Um, I think he's upset that I took so long hazing. to like accept his LinkedIn request. Right. That'll do it. I think yeah. that's what it is. He's yeah. like, LinkedIn. Screw that. Shipping containers converted to grow rooms. Uber Pets will ship your dog. And we shipped a bunch of plutonium to Pluto. I'm John P. And I'm Gabriella. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Cashfly. Hey gang, I've got a big surprise for you today. This is Gabriella. She was hanging out at the Geek House and we talked her into co-hosting an episode. I don't know Gabriella. She is the CEO of Tech Wildcatters right here in Dallas. And she's done everything from being a venture capitalist to you co-founded a software company. That's right. To private wealth management for high net worth individuals. Yeah, that, that not sounds, as much fun. That sounds fancy. Oh, and she's also got an MBA in strategy and entrepreneurship, and an, and her undergrad is in finance. That sounds boring. You had to do a lot of math. Yeah. I'm not good at math, so she's smarter than me. Not that that's saying much. Anyway, should we get on with the news? Let's do it. All right. First up, we've been hearing a lot about the New Horizons probe plummeting past dwarf planet Pluto lately at 30,000 miles per hour. What no one's discussing is how in the heck New Horizons managed to travel for 10 years and 3 billion miles. Well, for starters, it was 30 years ago this week that Doc Brown stole a case of plutonium from the Libyans. Oh my God, they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty! Who, who, who do you think? The Libyans! New Horizons is carrying about 24 pounds of plutonium-238 oxide pellets, a radioactive isotope that decays naturally with a half-life of 87.7 .7 years. That's double the amount that was used in the atom bomb. Wow. Though, this version is a little more stable. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> Anyways, as plutonium decays, it releases large amounts of heat energy, and the batch inside New Horizons is surrounded by thermocouples that convert that heat to electricity. How cool is it? that they named the element plutonium in 1941, and now we've used a batch of it to get to Pluto. Heat, cool, yeah, I see what you did there. If you love Uber, but you also love your pet, you no longer have to choose between the two. The popular shuttle service that connects riders and drivers has optioned up their app with the ability to specify that you'll be bringing your four-legged friend along. Hmm. I wonder if they take ferrets. <laughs> Maybe they do. Uber pets may not be available everywhere yet, and they say there will be limited numbers of drivers equipped to carry pets to start with, but if enough people use the service, Uber says the feature will live on and we'll see more driver availability. So, if you need to take your cat to the vet or your dog to a park, hit Uber up for a ride. If your business lives online, you know the importance of speed. Fast web pages, video downloads, podcast deliveries, mobile app downloads, game distributions, basically, speed counts. I wanna go fast. Yes, Ricky, we all do. And that's where Cashfly comes in. Their global content distribution network will supercharge your online world. And now, for a limited time, they're offering pay-as-you-go pricing combined with two terabytes of free data. That's a lot. But only if you use coupon code GEEKBEAT. Boston-based agriculture startup Freight Farms is converting shipping containers into hydroponic farms. The project is called the Leafy Green Machine and features all the necessary environmental controls for indoor growing while using 90% less water than traditional farming methods. Indoor growing, huh? Mm-hmm. I know what you're thinking. Just how much pot can you grow in a shipping container now that states all over the place are legalizing the stinky weed? <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> but they say these smart farms can grow a variety of crops and fresh produce regardless of the time of year or weather conditions. And they're connected to the Farmhand app, which monitors air and water quality by using in-farm cameras. Founders John Friedman and Brad McNamara decided to cut the cost by turning shipping containers into farms that can be easily transported and are energy efficient. Actually, I think this is a cool idea, because it used to be that in order to be a farmer, you needed to have some good land. Now you just need room for a shipping container or two and anyone can start producing their own fruits and veggies. That is true. I'm not a big fan of the fruits and veggies. That I like fruits, just not so much the veggies. 
Obviously. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Finally, over on Kickstarter, there's a new product up for funding called the E1 camera. It's being billed as the world's smallest micro four thirds camera and clearly aimed at squarely displacing the GoPro market. The relatively huge sensor in the E1 combined with the high quality interchangeable lenses will give it a major leg up when it comes to image quality and the sample of images they're showing from the camera is very impressive. The 4K camcorder functionality will certainly open up new opportunities for high quality video, especially when suspended from drones with enough payload capacity to carry it. I like drones. Or when mounted on things like your Jeep. Ooh. You'll be able to control the camera from a smartphone and units are currently available by pledging 600 bucks without a lens. <laughs> I said that like with real emphasis. Bucks. Or 800 with a lens. Expected delivery, November 2015. But I'm always a little skeptical because it seems like people generally miss their projected ship dates. So I don't know, it could be 2016 before these things go out. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. That's it for this episode of Geek Beat. How'd you feel about that, Gabriella? Well, you know, since people normally look at me kind of funny when I talk about planets and tech, it's fun channeling my inner geek. Nice. Okay, you guys can let her know how she did. Tweet her over at Gab Draney on the Twitters, right down there. And as usual, you can let John P. have it at John Paws. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. <laughs>